Hello, everybody. Look at where the heck we are. We are back here in Feed the Beast. Um, a survival series, perhaps? Maybe? Yeah? I think it's definitely a good old survival series. Uh, we're taking a look at the floating gardens right now. Um, welcome back, guys. It has been close to two weeks. Oh, my God. Seems an enderman is teleported. Um, but anyway, so what I would like to do today, guys is we are going to go back to the old house. Yes, to the home of the winter wheat and to the home of the denizens of the deep. Actually, I think most places are just denizens of the deep. Um, I've been doing some work over there and I actually, uh, let's, first things first here, let's get some armor made because uh, we need some freaking new iron armor because our old stuff is just, it's worn to hell, guys. It's been beaten in the depths of the arena we in fact we only have like two pieces left and one is basically broken so uh let's see if we can find some iron armor here and i am pretty sure we have uh pretty sure <laughs> i thought we had uh some iron ingots maybe not maybe i'm wrong do we have anything in the furnace yes we do there we go that's what i like to see oh my gosh we have so much okay Let's get uh, some new some new armor made up here. Wait a sec, what do I even need? Yeah, we need a head and the legs, that is fine. That is fine by me. How is everyone doing? Good grief, I felt like we haven't, we haven't done this in a long time. It's been pretty much close to two weeks. Um, and I, I apologize for that. I like to, I felt like I just needed a, to refresh my brain. Um, I don't know why this, why this game gets me like so worked up and kind of stressed out, but um, I, I felt like I just needed a bit of a break. Um, some of the mods were actually updated. Let's start heading over to the to the old house here quick, um, and we're gonna get an oil pump set up there so we can begin the makings of an oil refinery. Now, oil is an extremely, extremely uh, good and useful and powerful resource to have, so it's gonna be excellent to have that in our in our repertoire and our backpack of uh, power generating goodness so anything following us no okay good um, and I seem to have sorted out uh, the audio issues we were having in the chronotide series I hope you guys enjoyed that by the way um, I, it was just it's just kind of a break a little bit of time for me to get away it was almost like a vacation and uh, if you've been like just paying attention to like any of the stuff like I post on Twitter or anything like that. You'll know I was on vacation uh, for this past weekend. It was a holiday here in the United States, aka Memorial Day, where we honor uh, soldiers and veterans, our service to our country. We have quite a few of those days here in the U.S., and I am a firm believer uh, that um, that all of those holidays are deserved. Um, if you know anything about me, my girlfriend is a naval like reserve officers training corps, so she's pretty hardcore in in that, and I'm extremely proud proud of her. So, but anyway, guys, I uh, went ahead and got some pipes set up. Um, we've got some more pipes here in case or tanks in case we need them. Um, so let's head on out. Let's grab some just some basic materials. We've got a bit of cobblestone here. Let's take some of this uh, wood that we have, this oak wood. And actually, no, let's not. Yeah, let's take oak wood. Uh, we can build a pretty decent platform with that. Um, I've got a pump. We've got some waterproof pipes. I've been harvesting the cactuses. Oh my god, what did I just say? Cactuses? No, cacti. Uh, absolutely relentlessly. Um, just so we can have enough waterproof pipe. Because believe me, guys, this stuff does not come cheap. So, but if you remember for the first few episodes, we've been taking a look at this. Uh, this oil well or this oil spout here, I guess you could say and look the duck the ducks are getting covered in oil so What I wanted to do like from the very beginning This is actually the reason why I chose this place as our spawn. I wanted it to To be like our foundation to our core and I don't like to say I cheated cheat But I did cheat a little bit. Uh, I went in creative mode and went all the way to the bottom of this oil spout and oh my goodness guys it is so freaking deep um, so it's gonna be able to produce quite a bit of power for us and obviously 
uh, like I like I mentioned before I want to get a refinery set up so we can actually turn this stuff into fuel so it's actually quite a bit more efficient um, at producing electricity for our engines as we need them so we're gonna climb our way up to the top of this mountain if you also remember uh, from like the first episode uh, there's wisps uh, up, up in her and uh, it's pretty <laughs> It, this actually might be a bit of a hazardous project here, not necessarily for the machinery, uh, but for my own well-being, just because wisps are incredibly dangerous. They shoot lightning at you. They're like freaking Zeus or Thor, you know, just, just doing all sorts of jazz like that. But let's get a bit of a platform here with our cobblestone and our wood. And oh my gosh, guys, I have I have been like craving some Feed the Beast um, lately. If you guys don't know, I kind of am affiliated with Threndiggy, Threndaug. Um, hopefully working with him at some point, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. A, a guy can dream, right? <laughs> um, but uh, part of the Dogcraft Network, and I have missed his Feed the Beast series dearly. He hasn't, he hasn't been doing too much with it. Mostly... Mostly just due to, you know, taking a break, whatever. But, um, really, I I just wanted to play Feed the Beast, and it is some sweet jazz. Um, one of my old friends, his name is Sean, kind of got me started on Feed the Beast, and oh my god, it's so addicting. If you guys have a decent computer that can handle the mods uh, for Feed the Beast, be sure to go pick it up, guys. Just download it off feedthebeast.com. That's really all it takes. It is so much fun. It adds, in my opinion, just absolute ton uh, to Minecraft. So definitely pick that up. Okay, we've got our pump there. Let's see. Are you going to extend your little hose thingy? Yep, there it goes. Okay. Now, what we want to do is pretty similar to what we did with the lava generator. Or the lava pump, I should say and uh, get a, get redstone engines going here. We aren't gonna start them quite yet. Let's get those two up there and head on over here. And once again, what's nice about redstone engines is that they cost literally no additional energy. Now, they're not the fastest machines, but I believe they are the most cost effective. And for us accountants out there, those of you who have taken accounting or know the basics of accounting we like cost effectiveness and that is what we are looking to gain here look this is actually kind of looking kind of sweet um let's go ahead and try and get a bit more cobblestone here let me let me turn my freaking phone down good grief who the heck is texting me hopefully it's not someone important i'm actually looking for jobs right now um as I as I look to move just to be closer to my girlfriend, we've been been doing the long distance thing, and I think it's time to make a move. So I will definitely be making a move. Hopefully they're not emailing me about like some job interview, and I'll be like, oh, sorry, bro, playing some Feed the Beast. I uh, can't make it right now. That's not that's not gonna look too good uh, going into an interview. So, <laughs> but it can wait. Um, it's after business hours, so I highly doubt it's something actually vitally important as I miss, like, the best job offer of all time. But whatever, that's okay. Not a big deal. All right. So let's just finish up our platform here. It's, I mean, it's basically identical to what we did with the lava. Um, but the, like, refining process is just a bit more extreme. All right. Okay, and we've got cobblestone waterproof pipes here. So let's go ahead and place those. Now, we need to decide if we want to just wire this all, or pipe this all the way down uh, to the house. And obviously I want to do that, but I don't think we're going to have enough piping. So for now, I think what I'm going to do is just build a large tank here. Okay. Let's go ahead and make this kind of, kind of a big, Kind of a big deal, you know. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, that should be good. Um, let's get. Oh crap! We only have one lever, don't we? Ah, and I think I even deposited that. Fortunately, we have we have enough stuff to make some levers here. We have cobblestone and 
Let's make, uh, yeah, we only need two. So, oh, dear. And I threw everything. Oh, oh, we're under siege. What was that? Oh, my God. Now this, this is where things get tricky. Is that a wisp? I think that is a wisp. Let's be ready. Let's get some food uh, in our bellies here. Let's eat some steaks. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Let's head back up here. Attempt number two at piping. Let's keep an eye out for things. I think I got, I think I lost that wisp in the sunlight. And so it kind of allows it to be kind of camouflaged. And this is where I said, you know, it's going to be a bit dangerous up here, actually. So let's go ahead and get it, get it going on. Let's flip that, flip that, get our, get our pumps going. Let's keep an eye out for that ding dong wisp up there. It's causing trouble. Okay. The pump should be rolling now. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh look at this oil! Yay! Yay! And this will really clean up the mountain too, so that's obviously help. Oh my god, there's like 30 wisps up here. Um Okay. We're really gonna have to watch the aggro zone. Come at me! Oh! Oh yeah, it's time. I'm totally gonna die. You're gonna be the reason I die. You're gonna be the death of me. Your parents ever say like, oh, you stupid child, you the death of me. <laughs> yeah, my parents said it too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why does that not shock anybody? Okay, two wisps up here. Fortunately, it looks like the oil flow is going down a little bit. Do we have any arrows on us? We're about to find out. No, we don't. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, man, these wisps are hungry. They're hungry for death. Oh, jeez. Got, they've got the layout of the land. It's been too long since we've been here. We're rusty. Ah! All right. So now, let's actually start laying a bit of pipe um, to try and get that up there as much as we can. I Once again, I don't know if we're going to have enough. I highly doubt uh, we're going to have enough waterproof pipe. Now, the idea is to bring our oil here to these two tanks and then run them across into a block called a refinery. Um, let's actually do that. I think for a refinery we need diamonds. So we might have to head back. Let's look it up here. Refinery, oh my god. I think I think that's in scary mode. Um, let's go to recipe mode, yeah, we're in cheat mode. All right, refinery, what do we got? Okay, we need a diamond gear, two redstone torches, and three tanks. So. Let's go on and while we're waiting, let's actually get some piping set up and then we can go set up the refinery maybe. <laughs> okay, let's line this up here. Okay. Now and we can it'll we can actually set it up to where it kinda like splits it 50-50. Just kinda nice. Like the pipe logic in this is just fantastic. But uh, let's keep, let's move it on here. Yeah, we're, I don't, I really don't think we're gonna have enough. And uh, I think we need to come up with a cool name for this pipeline. Like, this is like similar to the Alaskan pipeline, I, I feel like anyway. Um, you know, going through like winter wonderland and all this beautiful nature and stuff. And then there's just this big ugly pipeline. <laughs> but who knows? Let's just get it built as much as possible, hopefully. Um, hopefully it doesn't provide too much hassle. Oh, it's so good to be back here. It's nice to just have, like, I always complain about, you know, Minecraft series being, like, just too open-ended. And if you don't have a goal, it's just, it's basically just intense rambling, you know? And I got through Chrono Tide, kind of. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. You'll know what I mean by kind of. Um... But I'm almost welcoming being back in an open-ended environment. It's just, it's just pleasant. It's like there's no stress to like get completed. Okay, good. We have a bit more cobblestone pipe. It's still not gonna be enough to get up top there. Um, but that's okay. Um, actually, let's not go this way. We want to, we want to maximize. We don't want to go down. We want to go up. So. God, I wish those. Freaking wisps weren't up there. Those things are such a freaking pain. Alright. Let's get our 
get our pipes back up here. Okay. So, well, let's just drive this across here a bit. And I, like, I kind of want to keep this semi-realistic here. We don't just want to have a ton of floating pipes everywhere, now, do we? No. Let's go up as high as we can with this. Gosh, we're not, we're not going to be anywhere near it. That's okay. It is okay. All right. Now the problem, getting down. <laughs> uh, no, it's not that big of a deal. Not for pros like me. Right. Let's get some torches up here just to kind of light it up. Just in the case that we have, like, devastating winds. Ah, jeez. All right, let's just jump in the oil. Help us cover some Dawn soap, please. <laughs> All right. We have one, like, cobblestone pipe left, but that's not too big of, a, too big of an issue. Oh, jeez, angry Enderman. Let's just swim up the oil flow here. Let our mountain render. Gosh, I can't believe this stuff is still flowing. The flow must come out of, like, several spots. Man. How are we doing up here, Chico? El Pumbo. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Holy crapola. We've, we've done away with quite a bit of it, actually. Let's see if we can... Uh, oh, jeez. Let's see if we can expand up here. I'd like to actually build, like, an office-type thing up here. Just, like, a little... Like, you know, in construction areas... And they have like that one little like mobile trailer and that's like their mobile command center i'd like to do that here i think that'd be a cool idea maybe oh yeah look at that and i think i think that it will be a excellent be an excellent use for our wood 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 let's go ahead and build that because i like i don't know why i think that's so cool it's just I don't know. It's just interesting to me, I guess. I don't know why. I don't know why, guys. But what do we want to do here? Those wisps coming out of snow. Okay, good. Let's build it up that high. I think that'll be good. And we can... I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. It doesn't need... I mean, it doesn't have to be extravagant. I just want it to look fairly pleasant. I mean, mobile mobile trailers are like prefabbed and stuff like don't look great when they're just like pulled onto a construction site and it's like uh, this is the office for the next you know six weeks while we build this road or build this building home sweet home but like on the inside it's like absolutely amazing it's super nice they have all their like drafting tools they have all their engineering stuffs oh geez that could have been bad oh my gosh we're almost filling this tank holy crap Let's just get this get this beast here and obviously in a, in a common sense way i mean we're preventing like avalanche damage coming down from the mountain or whatever <laughs> if you think about it <laughs> all right man like the rate we use resources in this game just amazes me Let's see if we can place that before we see if we can minimize our our fall damage there Okay, there we go. There we go. It's not looking great. <laughs> it's alright, though. Let's get it lit up in here. Fire next to crude oil. How appropriate. Is it? I don't think it is, actually. Let's get this room filled in as much as we can. Do we have enough? Yes. No, we don't. <laughs> That's okay, though. Alright, now... Get down on this engine. Let's see if we can make use of this. Geez, someone's swimming down there. Come on, man. Save some. Have some. wait for the rest of us. Why don't you? Oh, jeez. Jeez. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. We definitely need a floor in here. <laughs> oh my. What's going on down there? I think things are like falling into the oil or something. This is good. This is good. This is good progress, guys. Look at this. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
Okay. Let's actually... Oh, jeez. The pipe is extending. That's what the sound is. It's just, like, decimating this oil spout. Which is... I mean, that's perfect. That's what we want it to do, but... It's just what those sounds are, I guess. Alright, let's get rid of this. Let's build some, like, wooden supports here. I mean, I'm all about floating platforms. Don't get me wrong. We've seen the floating gardens, but... Cha -cha, cha 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 You know what? I'm just gonna build these stone, stone supports as we had them before. Actually, no, that is a bit different. They're a bit less numerous. Let's get this, get this like wooden reinforcements here. Ah, oh, are we out of? Oh no. That figures. It's okay though. It doesn't look actually too bad. It's symmetrical, at least. At the very least, it's symmetrical. But, uh, okay, let's head up top now. Let us head on up top, baby. And check how, check how the old Tanko is doing. See, now this is a problem. Let's get rid of this. At least a little bit of it. We don't have to get rid of it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, definitely get rid of it. We need to go inside. Hap. Oh god. Oh jeez. Are we are we almost full in this tank? Yeah we are. Holy crap. Um gosh, we did not plan this out at all. <laughs> this is rather apparent that we didn't. Okay. Just throw that there. Now we need to get up top. Somehow, some way. Good grief. I keep falling on that. Oh my god. Faster. Get rid of that. <laughs> this this platform is just making less and less sense. <laughs> okay, let's wait until that gets all full on up. But let's uh, we've got some more tankage here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get another tank set up, yeah. And then I actually think. We have a, yeah, we have one more pipe here. So we can actually evenly distribute that now. Look at that. Oh, yes. Ergo. Geniosa. Okay. Oh! Where is it? Where are you at? Oh, my God. Build it up. Build the wall. Okay. Should be good. It's going to have to come up from below now. Let's see. What do you got, bro? What you got? Oh. Okay, cool. All right, we've got a bit of an oil pumping. We've got like an oil pumping station now, so that is perfect. Oh man, I'm so tempted to just jump down there. God, I bet we've, oh wow. Look at that. Holy crapola. Oh my God, look at the landscape. We've cleaned it up. We've averted disaster, guys. Now, let's look down there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Look at how much this has changed already. Holy mother. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, geez. Here comes the wisp. Here comes the wisp. And this, like, this structure makes absolutely no sense. Um, so I think we're actually just going to tear it down here in a little bit. But um, let us let that finish pumping. Let's head back to the house and gear up and get ready to go harvest and find some more cacti uh, so we can get more waterproof pipes so we can finish uh, getting the oil refinery set up. Once again, if you've liked the video, I think we're going to end it for today. So if you've liked the video, hit the like button. If you've liked uh, what you've seen and you want to see other videos and be notified of other videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button up in the top left corner. And... Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode where we go and collect some more cacti, and uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get some more work done on our oil refinery uh, down at the old house. So thank you guys for joining me. This has been Burgo. We'll see you next time.